And also joining me now is former teacher Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney and Fox News contributor. Leo taught history and economics to middle and high school students um, before he got his master's in education and then a law degree from UCLA. So a uh, lot of exposure here to some of what we're talking about. Leo, what was your reaction to what these parents had to say today? It's going to be tough for me to get through this. It was tough. Uh, hmm. Teachers, I can't. It was, it was hard to talk, Martha. Tough situation. It is. I know you care so I, uh, much about these children, Leo, and you, you once told me that it was the most important work you ever did in your life was working with high school students. So I, I'm not, um, I, your emotion is, um, is, is very understandable and it is, uh, it's so tough to listen to these families. You know, what would you say to these kids out there who need to seek seek some help, Leo? I, I think parents, I mean, the, the, the role of the kids lost the right, the ability to uh, interact with teachers. And teachers, schools are in local parentis. Schools are give kids, and these kids lost the chance to communicate with your school teachers who sometimes provide an alternative in that transitional period, 12 to 17. Teachers can be a great resource. P teachers can provide sort of counseling that was denied to these kids. That's what, that's what. <sighs> they lost that opportunity. Yeah. You know, you make such a good point, Leo, and um, we talk about, you know, sort of how teachers can pick up on things. You know, you have, this is the reason that kids have different adults in their lives. They have a parent, they have a teacher, they have a coach The you know, I think of um, Jordan who was playing the tuba in the high school band, right? So you've got all these touch points that were denied these children over the course of this year. And, and no one is saying that, that COVID is the single factor here, but it was clearly a no factor, one's saying that. as these parents point out. It yeah, it was a ahead. factor, and these kids, these kids lost that opportunity due to politics and all the games. Those schools should have been open. I mean, the, the unions. I mean, teachers provide an alternative to kids to express their concerns, their sorrows, and that was taken away. That's what's so painful. You know, um, it, it, good advice given by these parents, and I, I don't you think I just think they're so brave to speak out. I, I can only imagine, you know, how difficult this was for them, Leo. I, I, I it was hard to watch that program. Leo, thank you so much. Um, your your tears are, I think, uh, speak for so many of us. Um, and the losses of this year, and we need to focus on the mental health toll that has been wrought over the course of all of this. And I thank you very much for being here with us uh, as a teacher and as a student and as a human being. So I thank you for being here, Leo. That is the story.